Mr. Chatterbox and the Parrot. On a branch in a tree outside Mr. Quiet's bedroom window, a parrot came to live. Pretty Polly! Pretty Polly! Polly, what a cracker! Ah. I haven't had a good night's sleep in weeks. I haven't had a good night's sleep in weeks! Now, not far away lived Mr. Chatterbox, one of Mr. Quiet's neighbors. Ah, Mr. Sponge, that's a beautifully clean window, if I do say so. Yes, it is beautifully clean. And when I say clean, I mean clean. In fact, all the clean windows I've seen in my time, and believe you me, I've seen some clean windows. <laughs> Let me tell you, yes. But I am telling you. Mr. Chatterbox loved the sound of his own voice and would talk to just about anyone. Good morning, Mr. Worm. I was just telling the window cleaner the thing about windows is you can see right through them. Hello? Ah, the mailman. Come in, Mr. Stab. I just wanted to tell you about all the letters I've received in my time. In fact, Mr. Chatterbox was becoming a real pain in the neck. Ah, Mr. Stab, I thought it was you. Do you have any eggs in the basket? I love eggs. Boiled eggs, fried eggs, scrambled eggs on toast, off toast, in with bacon. Oh, I love eggs. Come with me. I'll tell you all about the time I woke up in the middle of the night and thought I was a poached egg. Well, you can believe me. In I fact, thought, the situation I, I, I was becoming intolerable. <laughs> well, if there's anything I love to do, it's talk. It wasn't that Mr. Chatterbox meant to annoy people. He just couldn't stop talking. It's wrong because you're such a personable listener. Oh, look at this. I wanted to show you my new wristwatch. Look at that. He can went on and on and on. I love to spend as much time as I can. I can that night, a meeting was held in the town hall. Miss Bossy was in charge. Be quiet. I'm in charge. All those who think Mr. Chatterbox talks too much, put up oh. your hand. Oh, come on, Mr. Muddle. Hurry up. <laughs> Everyone agrees, then. But how do we get him to stop? That's what I'd like to know. Yeah, me too. Give me three. Me four. He made me miss my lunch just the other day. Quiet! Quiet, everyone, and listen to me. Has anyone got an idea? But nobody could think of one. Nobody, that is, except for one person who was rather shy. Shy, we haven't gone all night. Sorry, Miss Bossy. It's like this, okay? I have a friend called Mr. Quiet. He lives up the road not far from here. Little Miss Shy told everyone her plan, and everyone was very impressed. <laughs> the next day, when Mr. Quiet looked out of his bedroom window, he noticed that something was different. And then Mr. Oh, Quiet realized what it was. The parrot is gone. Everything's nice and quiet again. But for Mr. Chatterbox, everything was anything but quiet. So I said to the officer, I'm not speeding. I'm not... Not speeding! Not speeding! Ah! Oh, my goodness. No, 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 no. You can't be serious. You can't be. Can't be serious. Can't be serious. Ah! Yes, yes, yes. Okay, left, left, there. Now, that fix the picture. Fix the picture! Fix the picture! Oh, I and they it. went on, yes, and indeed. on, and on, oh, on until the parrot Africa. had had oh, enough, and he put Mr. Chatterbox you know, to bed. Yeah, good night, Molly. Good night, Mr. Chatterbox. Good night. I love you to listen. Oh, yes, you're just a great bird. <laughs>